Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Today will be a super helpful video, guys. If you have a BMW X5 and you're trying to test your Vanus solenoid, many of you don't know that, but the procedure will apply to almost any BMW because they use interchangeable parts. Okay, and uh, same engines can be found in multiple BMWs. Now we will explain, guys, how to test Vanus solenoid, and even if it's working correctly by testing it. You may still get engine light and cold guys and we'll explain why, make sure you stay until the end, there is a simple solution to that. Another thing guys, all the two parts that we use, we'll share the links in the description of the video below guys and if you need to buy a new solenoid if yours is bad, we'll put the link as well. Every single car guys, we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to our channel and like the video, that way we can keep providing that free information to you. Let us show you guys, okay, what we have here now. This is N52 engine that can be found in BMW X5, but even if you have a 4 cylinder, 6 cylinder, 8 cylinder guys, gasoline, diesel engine, the procedure practically will be the same for almost any BMW guys, especially generation around. 2005 to year 2015 so uh, before we start guys let me uh, introduce you quick we have guys that uh, channel auto repair guys this is our main channel and we have helped more than 60 uh, 69 million people guys so check it out we have information that can save you thousands of dollars on uh, future repairs now what we'll need car battery okay we're going to need two alligator clips okay those are very important and we'll explain why and we need to remove our vanus solenoid how we do that usually okay uh, if you have a v8 you may have more solenoids but in our case we have two solenoids uh, because it's a six cylinder engine okay and this is the intake this is the exhaust we have a video that explains everything about vanus solenoids how to remove and replace them but this is the solenoid and uh, you have to be very careful not to drop that seal inside your engine sometimes it will be stuck right here so with all that being said guys okay this is the solenoid. You have a thing on the inside that uh, opens and closes. Okay, it moves up and down. And it actually, guys, okay, changes the angle of your camshaft. Just changes the flow of oil through the solenoid. You have two wires and polarity is not an issue. You can reverse polarity and still work. But it's very important not to touch the two wires together. If you touch them together, you can, guys, immediately burn your solenoid and there is no way to fix it. You have to buy a new one. So. Alligator clips are pretty handy because these seals, okay, drop all the way inside and that way we cannot cause damage, guys. Okay, check it out. It's working perfect so far. So, all that being said, guys, everything's connected. What we're going to do now, apply 12 volt supply from the car battery and listen what's going to happen now. It opens and closes, guys. So, definitely, guys, it's a good solenoid. We can reverse the wires and it will still work. Check it out. Perfect. Now, if yours is working and you still get a cold or service engine light is on because of that, it may be because of a dirty solenoid, guys. And if it's dirty, it may be sticking, not opening sometimes all the way or closing all the way, and that can cause that problem. And uh, we have the video on the channel how to clean one. Okay, and we'll share the link in the description of the video below. So please check it out. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. 